So success in sales comes not from selling but from building relationships and solving problems. So with this quote, I would like to begin our talk show named Conversation with Consultants with episode 13 of our guest talk series. So good evening everyone. I am Aditi Jain, Strategy Clients Advisor of SK Associates and Group and your host for today's talk show. Before we begin our talk show, let me briefly introduce SK Associates and Group. We are an ISO certified management consulting firm registered under the MSMET Act 2006 with the Government of India. Our mission is to provide consulting services to student entrepreneurs globally covering areas such as compliance, operations, marketing research and development, human capital strategy and operations. Our passion lies in helping these budding entrepreneurs bring their dreams to life and contribute to global economic is a powerful force that can raise. So we are committed to supporting student entrepreneurs or their journey, equipping them with the tools, knowledge and networks they need to succeed. Now, before we begin our show, let's take a moment to introduce our guest for today. It gives us immense pleasure to welcome Professor Dr. Pramod Kumar Rajput, former Vertical Head and Senior VP, Gaidala Pharma, Pharma Limited, to the special event. We are truly honored by your presence today and we are thrilled to have you share this momentous occasion with us. So welcome Dr. Pramod Rajput. Thank you so much. Very happy to be here on your platform. Thank you. So moving ahead, let's start with the first question. So thank you. Uh, before we start my first question, I just really want sure. to say a uh, very, very good evening to you and to uh, the SK Associates, whosoever are listening directly, indirectly, and they are going to listen this link. Uh, I'm very happy.
me and i feel very happy and i feel that yes this is the way one person should be contributing their experience very well said about this thank you so much so how do you cultivate critical thinking and problem solving skills in your students see first of all critical thinking and problem solving they are both the hand in hand together it's like a rahu and ketu okay in 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 the mythology we say so critical thinking is that first is the problem solving so people or the student you always say that calm down right it is like a there is a lot of the knots are there right if you are, i give you something which is having the multiple one second one second one second just a minute my battery is going down one second sure sure yeah thank you so i i i started reminding the, uh, a very old story which is just the other way around right there was a, a farmer who had a three sons he was dying at that time so he called all the people all his son and is given the bundle of the stick right and he said that can you break these sticks so they are not able to break then he has given one one stick to them and said can you break it then he, the, all the three sons have broken the sticks right what is the learning is then then when you are together nobody can break you but my learning for the student is if any problem is there take the first step of the problem break the problem go to the second step third step suppose i have to go on the three story building how i will be going i am not a, 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 a spider man correct so i have to go either by the lift or either by the steps and I, there is no lift is there i have to climb step by step correct or not same way same way the student has to solve the problem step by step i always say that write down your problem and write down what are the alternatives are there so when they write the alternatives what will happen what not will happen there is a part of the critical thinking what i can do it what i cannot do it if they start putting the problems in small 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 portions which can be then part gives them the lot of happiness oh my god i can do it i am not going to do for them but they are going to solve the problem so problem solving the small steps and the critical thinking adding the things is making a difference thank you for sharing this so how do you stay updated with the developments in the field and incorporate them into your curriculum i uh, see i keep on reading i normally average one and half hour i invest on reading so wherever i am there i always read for 90 minutes minimum minimum one hour or one and half hour for the reading i start with the newspaper i don't go so much with the uh, whatsapp and all because i know why 40% times is getting killed i start with the newspaper and all the things are not bad there so many things are good in the newspaper so i spend the time there in the morning then whenever i am getting the time i have the fixed time of 1 hour and 1 and a half hour what the new things are happening i am getting a regular messages uh, mails from the mckinsey i am getting from different different organizations so i read them what is the new thing leadership people are sending me so what are the new things are happening so it gives me happiness that yes i am updated i also talk to the people who are supposed to be the visionary in that area i said this has come what you feel about that part right i never feel shy that if i ask i go to they are going to be little me nobody be little they feel very happy i ask i discuss with them that how the things are happening what is your notion when i meet in the different meetings in the platform i take out 5 minutes 10 minutes i keep on asking from them so this is the way i keep on uh, inculcating the knowledge part which is which is which is there in abundance and i keep on taking it from the people uh, who are supposed to be who's and who in that particular areas great thank you for sharing this so how do you bridge theory and practice in your teaching approach so see i told you know that i always talk on the electric modules right and i always talk with the practical demonstration which is very important whenever i give may give my talk on the skills training right because that is the one thing i i always put it in the practical way suppose there is an exercise is there right when you do the exercise then you will be able to understand the things very well right in any of the colleges in any of the institute they have their set routine i cannot change the routine but these are the things are there 
when I said that this is the way it has to be incorporated, it has to be taken care, then the student they are able to resonate it well. And believe you me, their professors or the faculties, they really like this and they appreciate. They said we also also used to tell, but they are not inculcated. So practicality when you add about it, then the students will be able to feel that oh my God, this is the real way of putting it instead of only having the bookish knowledge. So I always put it, maybe by one hour, two hour by classes there, but there's lots of differences there, practical approach, involving the student, understanding them, and some practical dramas and all, so people they inculcate and they know, that, oh my god, this is the way it is required. Now you have come a little bit earlier. All Thank you for any specific skills or competences that you prioritize in your teaching to prepare students for the workforce? First is communication, right, mindset and because I always say mindset and the communication which is patience, understanding the people, there are so many things are there, I keep on talking about it, right, empathy, right, time management, because I give my talk on the brand tracy time management also, eat the frog, okay. so this is the ample of the things which I keep on talking to the student as per their need, right, learning, understanding, putting the thing which is required, the right? tactical approaches which is the need of the R. So all these things are there which are leadership skills, right? So all these things I keep on talking with the student that they will be able to under understand it and they will be able to write. And I always tell them, have the habit of writing. If you start writing it, you will do the mistake. But once you are clear about it, because once you write, now it's very difficult to write the thing which is important. It takes a time. When I talked to the student, I was writing the book. Many of the students, when they came, and they, I have given them the interview, how to write a book. Everybody wants to write a book. But starting the very first page is very important. And if I am able to inculcate that part, that is going to make a difference. Very well said, about this. So what advice would you give to students who wants to enter into this profession? Which profession? Pharma profession or? Now you can uh, tell about both if you want or anyone. Okay. Like basically Any, professor, okay. yeah. Okay. So first thing is, whatever the passion is there, please enjoy that passion. Suppose it is not that you want to become an engineer or a doctor or a lawyer. If you want to become a great musician, Right. If you want to become a good chef, right. If you want to become a good podcaster, right. So, so learn from the people who are on the helm of that particular journey. Read their biography. How they attained that position. What are the hurdles they have converted to the opportunities? And what are the new habits they have inculcated in them? How their journey has started putting the thing, and that embrace it. Try to adopt the thing which is important because they have become your role model. And it is very important that you have to have the role model for yourself to go and to achieve in their particular life. This is the point number one which I always say. Second thing is, immerse yourself completely. Be like a water in there. Why water? Because if you put a water in the red color glass, it will become a red color. White color glass, white. Blue color glass, it is white. Blue, right? So be like very stable like a water, right? And adopt the change, embrace the change which is important. Because if you will change yourself, you will be with the flow which is required. Don't be a be a resilient person, but do not be a resistant person, which is very important in the life. So this is the second part. Third part is make your roadmap. What is your short term goal? What is your mid term goal? And what is your long term goal? And put a, put a clear cut that dates or maybe the year and start working reversely, which is important. Suppose a student wants to become a general manager in 10 years of the time, in any of the situation. Then go and talk to that general manager, not to your relatives. Because normally what happens that we have been confined by our relatives and their friends, which, sorry to say, they are not aware about that position. Suppose I want to become a drummer, okay, 
and and i want to big i want to join a big drum that is a shiva shiva is there no there is a big drum i want to become that so i should go and talk to him or i should convey that yes what are the things i i should be learning about it instead of talking to my neighbor that how to beat the drum you got my point so it is always said that you talk to the person who is the helm of the affair understand the things learn from their experience and work with this so that is becoming your long term goal to become that way short term what is the basic thing is required and the mid term is that in the journey how will you be able to achieve it i think i have clarified you this question which is very important and none of the work is bad let me tell you i always appreciate any work which you do it and you are able to rise on that top level it is always respected so none of the work is bad in this thing it is not that only you become a doctor engineer lawyer chartered accountant you are the best no today every work has been respected right but you have to achieve that level which is very important very well said thank you for sharing your advice definitely it will help our students thank you thank you so so what accomplishments in your corporate journey bring you a sense of pride and fulfillment so my accomplishment in my journey is that my long term goal was to come to ahmedabad because uh, and in my 40 years i have not changed the company i have grown with the company people they keep on changing it i said it is a two ways are there right which you say the other side of the grass is more greener but i said that if you water your own grass it becomes more greener as compared to the other side and and how you can water when you start contributing to that particular area right when you start in nurturing so this gives me a lot of happiness when you today i see my all the medals and the certificate which i started my journey right it gives me such a immense pleasure not pride immense pleasure that yes i have learned from the people i have adopted that learning in my entire journey and at the same time i keep on learning from the other people as well today also so that i am able to adopt it and i am able to share with other people my so many achievements were there the basic achievement that, that the people who have worked with me now they are heading the companies they have opened their companies they keep on inviting me sometimes they invite me for inauguration of the new setup sometimes they invite me to give a talk to the people right apart from the entire journey where we as a team were the number one in the entire organization and during the time of the covid also 38 months our entire team our entire vertical our entire divisions they have achieved the targets which was the first time in the pharmaceutical industry which had happened till today nobody is able to break this record which is another big achievement is there right in the pharmaceutical industry So these are the conditions that are there. So I enjoy it. I said, okay, that part is over. Now let us have something different. Now let something more, something more. That is there. I always say, life is always should be a comma, not a full stop. When you put the full stop, end. Very well. Said wonderful words. view the role of businesses in contributing to societal welfare and progress once again you repeat it again there was some mistake sure yeah. sure from your perspective as a corporate leader how do you view the role of businesses in contributing to societal welfare and progress fantastic it is a two way radia so which role uh, which are the businesses which you are incorporating one is uh, the business which can give lot of scenario in terms of the in the global requirements right and it can build the societal requirement today again i am i am including with the sdg part the sdg 17 goals are there some businesses are directly linked some businesses are not linked so if you add that particular setup of the business which is linked with the sdg goals you will be able to contribute to the society part here i always talk about the gender equality women empowerment right so there are some of the roles are there where it can help for the building the women empowerment which is very important i always like to take little more part i say that in any of the business or any of the role if you are able to keep the women they have the actual sixth sense very strong they have the good emotional intelligence they have the patience they have the understanding they have the empathy right and and tomorrow you don't know that 
today tomorrow you are going to be under a women leader so have that respect part which is very important so if you want to expand in the society part you incorporate the women entrepreneurship women leadership also for the particular subject today if you see in in the education system lot of the women are there right but what about the corporate hierarchy today the things are getting changed even our entrepreneurs mr ambani and so many other people are there their daughters are coming right okay they are showing the path that this they are able to run the businesses right and very well they are running the businesses they are making a change so we have to take out that taboo from our mind that in my home or in my area a girl child or a female will not be able to run the business they will be able to contribute to the societal development because if a female is heading a business she will be able to contribute in a bigger segment i understand the thing as a male you may be thinking only on the one side so that's why i said that in multiple arenas where it is required it is going to help for the societal requirement today even even our uh, madam sita raman is there she how one beautiful uh, uh, how knowledgeable prime and this finance minister she is right how the entire things are getting changed there are so many examples are there now which we can start giving it so that we may in our air force how many women pilots have come right we are the number one in terms of that right so it is it is adding lot many thing which is a real need of so either it's the business either it's the government policy either it's the private policy either it's the semi government or whatever it is it has to be enriched with the real requirement which is the need of the hour then only will be coming the vishu group by 2047 which is the dream of 140 crore of the indians thank you nice for uh, thank you for sharing this so do you agree with the notion that once passion is discovered rather than chosen so you can share any example from your professional journey that reflects this perspective if you want 100% i was uh, i i was selected after completing my graduation i was selected in engineering college i was there for 45 days so that was not my cup of tea and i i chosen and becoming a medical representative to sell that drugs i have never known about the i have never learned during that time anatomy physiology and all but i have directly jumped to the profession because that was my passion i used to think that oh my god these people they talk with the doctor they talk about the medical science how many there is that was the my passion that has pulled me right this is one of the finest example 45 days leaving engineering college to the selection and joining this this is a part of one passion which is there and the passion was never died because the passion was to completely grow in that identity and to head the entire conglomerate which i did it i feel very happy that that has risen me taken me to that particular level and now the passion was to be a part of multiple organizations universities and all and today i am giving my talk and i am learning from them Great, thank you for sharing with us. So, who is someone in your profession you really admire, and why? I admire my uh, founder, a uh, chairman, and uh, he is no more because he started his journey while selling uh, the uh, medicine from the bicycle, right? Seventy-six years back. Uh, founder, respected Sri I A Modi, right? He started the Cadilla Pharma, and this person, this great Mahatma, I always say, he is uh, he uh, he was so gentle. i have learned lot of humbleness from him right whenever i have traveled with him whenever we are discussing he was so down to earth a big conglomerate of 11000 crore but the way he used to talk the way he used to deal the he the way he used to solve the problem right like a common man so he is one of my greatest motivator in the profession journey the other two people i like to take the name one is my mother right my parents because they have given the value system right and then until i would i have not received that value system that culture right of respecting and adopting i would have not grown in my entire tenure the second person is by better half my wife because she has seen me from the medical that level to the level which i am heading such of the things and all she always stood me next to me as a pillar so she has always given me lot of strength right that yes you carry on i am there with you 
to ensure that nothing will go wrong if you are not there right so these are the people are there and of course my couple of the seniors because with the help of the seniors i would not have grown right every senior was having a different quality so i have invited their quality because i never used to say negative part nobody is perfect in the world i am not perfect only god is perfect so i have taken the all the good things from my seniors from my peer group from my juniors as well right and then i said ki okay let us learn and learning is there till the last breath learning continues wonderful words quoted by you thank you so much so how do you define success in your career and how is it perceived within the corporate realm see success is a, a ongoing process you cannot measure that this is a successful journey success i always said na i did is success or getting is a drop of the ocean right whatever we have achieved is a drop of the ocean and and an ocean you know it is huge you take a glass of the water ocean will be like this only so you have to incorporate the thing till the life it is there you have to keep on adding the thing which is very important you cannot say i am a very successful person i always say i am towards the journey of success that's why my caption is the journey continues the way the day i will think that i am successful i have closed the last page of my life is over that is all exactly the journey continues thank you so last question is like anything you would like to share which we haven't covered in the interview yet you so wish I, to share anything you, very meticulously yeah, i think very intelligently uh, you have covered it nothing to be added in that i can always say for the youngsters be passionate whatever you want to do it put your heart and mind and soul completely in that right and if the hurdles are there take hurdles as an opportunity because hurdles are going to be there you cannot have a smooth road take it out from that learn from the failures embrace the failures also towards success and be passionate have respect for the females right because tomorrow you don't know that a female can be your boss right which is and and also respect to the others persons feeling empathize with them tomorrow you don't know that what the things are happening there because be a leader who, who should be leading not in terms of the only by the head a leader should be there in that way you are able to inculcate inculcate the leadership of the entire team which is important if you are a student don't be only a leader that you are taking care ensure that all the students should be there in the same way the same level which is important so be positive maintain respect the time whatever the time today is there tomorrow is not going to come you give ample of the money the time will not come utilize that time in a most successful way which is the need of dawa so tomorrow there should always be a good memories there should not be any regret or that oh my god i wasted my time no i have utilized my time that's why today i am here thank you for sharing this beautiful words and uh, thank you for being the presence presence over here in today with us so thank you so much uh, for uh, inviting me as sk associates it was a long journey uh, so uh, moving, for the, yeah. moving ahead with yeah please Uh, moving ahead we would like to express our sincere gratitude to professor dr pramod kumar rajput vertical former vertical head and senior vice president cardilla pharma limited for being our guest for today at conversation with consultants your presence and engagement helped to make it a success so thank you for providing insight into your inspirational journey further we would also like to thank everyone for listening to with us today and joining this event so thank you sir for your presence with us today thank you sir shared by you and thank you for guiding our young minds today thank you so much so happy and very happy thank you so much for inviting me thank you so much take care god so looking ahead we are excited to announce that our next episode of conversation with consultants will be held next weekend so hope you see you all there thank you again and looking forward to connect with you so have a good day everyone thank you for joining with us thank you so bye bye